Hello, this is Peter from the Canossa Observatory. Spring is galaxy season, so for this month of April I've selected one of my all-time favourites, NGC 4565 or the beautiful Needle Galaxy. As usual, if you want to watch this video, I advise you to do this from the PC or if you have to use your mobile, to do it in a dark room and with the screen at maximum brightness. You don't need a telescope, let alone a very big one, to discover the beauty of the night sky. A perfect example is the Coma Berenice star cluster, also known as Melot 111 or Colander 256, which lies between the tail of Leo and the Big Dipper's handle. Being only 280 light years away, it's actually the third nearest cluster of young stars next to the five middle stars of the Big Dipper and the Hyades in Taurus. It would actually deserve a video in its own right because it's a lovely sight with the naked eye and it becomes spectacular in a pair of ordinary binoculars. So we've pointed our binoculars at it and now look to the left of the field of view. You may see two small smudges or streaks. These are two galaxies who are lying at more or less the same distance of 35 to 40 million light years and are therefore clearly related to one another. The upper one is classified as NGC 4559 and could just as well deserve this video because also this one already shows some surprising detail in a small telescope. But let's focus on the lower one with the binoscope at low power. It's immediately obvious where it got its nickname from as Needle Galaxy. In fact, we're seeing this galaxy edge on. But also in a small telescope, you'll already notice the very prominent dust lane which cuts right across it, similar to the ones observed in Messier 104, the famous Sombrero Galaxy, or in NGC 891. It's actually a ring of cold dust that surrounds the entire galaxy and which blocks the light from the stars within. But there is more. If you look to the upper left, you'll notice a faint patch. This is NGC 4562, believed to be a small satellite galaxy of NGC 4565, just like the Magellan Clouds are dwarf galaxies that accompany our own. It should be visible in any medium-sized telescope given decent sky conditions. Also in your medium-sized telescope, you'll notice that other hazy little thing here. It looks like a fuzzy star at first, but when you look closely, you'll realize that it's not. Also this is a galaxy, scientifically denominated UGC 7778. Contrary to NGC 4562, it bears no relation to our needle galaxy whatsoever and it only looks tiny because it's so incredibly far away from us at about 350 million light years. In fact, the entire area is packed with distant galaxies, most of which, unfortunately, are only visible in very big telescopes. Now let's zoom in at 285 times. The dust lane of our needle galaxy becomes striking and with a big telescope you may even notice some structures within it. Also the galaxy's core becomes evident, which is in fact a black hole so massive that it can keep all the stars in this galaxy spinning around it. Scientists think that this galaxy actually resembles our own Milky Way a lot and images of NGC 4565 are often used in textbooks to show what our galaxy must look like from a distance. So, if the sky is going to be clear tonight, grab your binoculars or telescope, go out and look for this beauty, because this is one of these objects which, even after having observed them a hundred times, it will never cease to amaze you.